Hi, I'm Eric. And I'm Jacob. We're from Tacoma Pump and Drilling, home of the hard drilling specialist. With our DR24s, we're capable of drilling through some of the toughest formations the Pacific Northwest has to offer. Some of the most often questions we get are how big is your equipment and what size do you need to set up? We'd like to answer those questions. Let's take a look and see what kind of room we need to set our equipment up. The basic layout. This is our most common rig setup and all other layouts utilize the basic layout. First, the length of the rig. We need a minimum of 45 feet in front of the drill location and 4 feet on each side. And don't forget access. Access is the area it takes to get the equipment into place. Next is the tool laydown. This is the space required to lay down drill rods, bits, stabilizers and other materials to access the hole being constructed. This area is directly behind the drill rig and needs to be 30 feet long. The support truck is usually adjacent to the driller's platform and tool laydown area. The support truck carries all the essentials for drilling, including water. The only thing left is the cuttings discharge. The drill cuttings discharge opposite the driller's platform at about 60 degrees. Because we're using a lot of air at high pressure to lift these cuttings out of the ground, the area for discharge should be at least 60 feet long and about 15 feet wide. Next, the basic layout with cuttings containment and removal. Again, the same basic layout, except we need an additional eight feet on the discharge side, opposite the driller's platform, for a cyclone and either containment tanks, self-dumping hoppers, or even a larger 20-yard roll-off. Again, don't forget access. We'll need to have access to those containers for a vac truck or a forklift for removal. This is a layout for our flooded reverse using either water or mud with cuttings containment and cuttings removal. This layout uses the most equipment and is going to use the most area. Start with the basic layout, 45 feet in front of the drill location and 30 feet behind the rig for tool laydown. Cuttings enter the cyclone through a discharge hose. Larger cuttings drop into a self-dumping hopper. Smaller sizes go through settling tanks and then through a fluid cleaning system. If the cuttings have to be moved off-site, you'll need an additional area to stage two 20-yard roll-off bins. Also included will be a staging area for other materials, tooling, job boxes, pumps, and mixing stations. Another thing to always consider is utilities, overhead obstructions, power lines, light poles, even tree branches. One last item for this layout is our mobile office or job shack. This is where we keep daily drill logs, viscosities, mud weights, good cup of coffee, and if we're lucky, a fresh box of donuts. You got a donut. Coffee? How about coffee? I hope this answers the question of the size of our equipment and what it takes to mobilize to your site. Remember, access is important. We need to fuel daily, remove cuttings, and bring materials in and out. For more information on who we are and what we do, check us out on the World Wide Web at TacomaDrilling.com. Or you can check us out on Facebook. Is that a donut?